My name is Bernal Cotlin, and I'm the owner of the first and only grocery store in my community. When I came back after Hurricane Katrina, I noticed we didn't have anything at all. The closest grocery store that we have, it's Walmart in the next city. You actually have to catch three city buses. As we say down here to make groceries, that's, that's an undue hardship. Somebody had to do something. Community medicine is three things. It's people, it's practice, and it's policy. The reason that healthcare is in the state it's in, in New Orleans and Louisiana, are at the bottom of every good list, is because the people have been left out of the policy room. We try to wrap our arms around the community, listening to the community, and include them in the solutions for the problems that they have. Moving for Life is a wonderful program that the Tulane Prevention Research Center has been doing for almost five years now in the Upper and Lower Ninth Ward. What we wanted to do with this program was increase access to healthy foods for residents of the Ninth Ward, but also to give them additional opportunities to be physically active. So we'll start this one, right? So the right foot goes up, but our body's going to the left. The Moving for Life program has impacted this community by bringing people together in one space. What happens is people come to an area with the intent to move, to exercise, but more importantly, to socialize. Research shows that the more you socialize, the better chances of a healthy mental state, emotional state, and also physical state. I really like to dance and be active and try out new things. So coming to a West African dance class was something I'd never done before. I really enjoyed the sense of community that was present throughout the entire class. No one was really worried about looking silly or getting something wrong. It was just the community coming together, learning something new and having fun. My name is Royline Johnson. I'm from New Orleans, and I'm the Community Service Director here at the Catherine Avenue um, Church in the Lower Ninth Ward. Our church follows a plant-based diet for good, healthy living, and when we found out that Tulane was having these um, plant-based cooking classes, we definitely wanted to be on board. So that's how we initially got involved with Moving for Life. Me and my wife, we attended the, uh, the sessions that they were demonstrating uh, cooking uh, vegetarian and uh, meals from uh, the past, foods that were more or less delectable and helpful for our diet. A lot of people there that are eating uh, just about anything they like to eat. And certain things that, uh, you know, that's good for you and certain things that's not. Through my involvement with the um, Moving for Life program, I learned a lot. Once you learn, you can do your own thing. And that's what we did. We received the tools, and now we started a bike program because of we knowing that there was a need down here in the Lower Ninth Ward. I've been here so long, you couldn't get by me. I have a command audience and people come in and I'm able to share with them about the program. It's important because we're in an area that really, to me, is neglected in this city. We can't eat properly unless someone teaches us what we're supposed to be eating and what not. It was easy for me to get involved with Moving for Life because it's something I can be proud about and share with others so that they can also. You know, it's about help, moving for life. And, and we need that here in the Lower Ninth Ward. I know I benefited from them. And if they came here today, tomorrow, next week and needed anything from me, I'd be more than happy to help them. You can't solve a problem without being close to it. And that's the beauty of moving for life and the things that we, all of us try to do in, in our community is we're there beside in the community trying to solve the problem. And when you get the mutual respect, you get your community buy-in, and it feels like a, a team win. The community feels like it wins. And once the community feels like it wins, it can sustain it perpetually.